Live from Appleton, it's APTV. Welcome to APTV episode 511 for Thursday, October 12th, 2023. This week, we have banter, news, updates, a monster from Retro 51, a blackbird from Esterbrook, a contest winner, a new contest, plus absolutely nothing that is coming soon. That's not exactly entirely true. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Linz. Hey, Brian. How does a vampire start a letter? How? To whom it may concern. <laughs> 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 it's worse when you enjoy it. Oh, that's great. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> um, and speaking of that, tomorrow, Friday, October 13th, is Friday the 13th. It happens at least once a year, but it can be up to three times in one year. Uh, whether it's considered lucky or un- unlucky varies around the world. And Sunday, October 15th, is White Cane Day. White canes were introduced in the 1930s as a way of assisting the visually impaired pedestrians to travel independently. They also help motorists identify and yield to people using the white cane, and their use has been protected by law in the United States since that time. White Cane Day Safety Day, October 15th, was established in 1964 by President Lyndon B. Johnson in an effort to raise awareness of people who carry a white cane. Awesome. All right, we do have some things that are coming soon. And we're going to talk about it right now. Great. It's the first time we've done a podcast together. Yeah, you're fun? right. Isn't this fun? <laughs> um, so we have uh, a, a, a new shot these last week. Yes. Uh, we've got some new, uh, these are, uh, uh, what are these? These are consignment pens. That's what these are. Um, and uh, these are all, most of these uh, all come in a box and they look like most of them have never been used. So um, there's quite a few of them. I just I got a couple of highlights here that I think people might be interested. So these should be up. Uh, I think these are up right now, actually. Yeah, they are. Um, Sailor 1911 Standard. Check this out. Yellow barrel, black cap. No, it's not a mismatch. This was actually a uh, a combination that was made at one point in time. Very limited production. Uh, this one has a music nib. So these are these are as is. Uh, so you can't swap nibs on these or anything like that. Uh, but the music nib on this yellow and black. You can call it a bumblebee, maybe. That's pretty cool. It's cute. Um, uh, we got a Pelican M200. So we had a bunch of these uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, we've got this lovely transparent green one. Of course, uh, gold-plated stainless steel nib. Um, we've got the, uh, well, of course, they don't call it that, but we could call it the Stormtrooper. It kind of looks like a Stormtrooper. Pelican, uh, this is an M100 Transitions, I think they call it. Uh, this one I don't think has ever been inked. It's got the extra, the extra fine sticker on it. Uh, black steel nib. Uh, pretty super cool. I like that one. Slick. It is slick. Uh, and then uh, for more more classic type, we've got another Pelican. This is a M250 old style. Um, it's got the engraved logo on the top. And then, of course, a 14 karat gold nib on this one. So uh, a couple of nice Pelicans. Uh, other notables. Uh, this one is kind of unique. Um, it looks like your standard black and rhodium vanishing point, uh, which it sort of is. Uh, but this one actually has the gold imprint on the back instead of uh, the standard silver imprint. And this one has a gold-plated steel nib. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, don't often find – you don't find those at all in the U.S. They don't export them to the U.S. So. Mm. Uh, and last but not least, this one is, is maybe the coolest of them all, I think. Retro 51 uh, Tornado in Cognac. This is a fountain pen. Uh, this one I don't believe has ever been inked. New old stock. It's got the sticker on the back of the barrel. It's got this cool two-tone nib that they used to make. Uh, and it comes in the original uh, aluminum tube. Look at that. Cool color. Uh, and, of course, the original box with the sticker on it and everything. Uh, so those uh, those are up now. Uh, we do have uh, a number of other pens uh, we bought a collection recently, and I've got some uh, more consignment pens that are Ooh. going to be coming soon. Uh, so I'm going to hit those up now. Um, just a selection. Uh, and this is an un- kind of unusual collection. Most of the pens in this collection were uh, fit two, th- two uh, check boxes. Most of them were pink. Yeah. <laughs> and almost all of them had extra fine nibs. Uh, the broadest nib on any of these, I think, was, was a fine. So uh, this one is, is probably the coolest one in the bunch. It's a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. This, uh, I believe, is a Saijiki Sakura model, special edition for uh, Pent. 
uh, and uh, it's got this cool kind of confetti finish on the on the barrel and the cap. Oh yeah, yeah, that is multicolor. I it thought that was just glitters. Yeah, no, it's like big. It's like big glitter. Okay. Uh, it, it's super cool. Um, so that one's cool. It's Pro Gear Slim. Uh, the next one's an old favorite. Yes. Uh, who doesn't love the 1911 standard Fresca? What a great color. This uh, was the very first uh, North American exclusive ever made. Um, and actually, there are, we had the very first three, actually. We have an anchor grain, and then there's another key line. But you don't see the Fresca anymore. Uh, it has been long, been discontinued. Uh, so that's cool. Um, I like the, the Edison's here. Like this one with the, the pink and blue swirls. Yeah, so that's a, that's a pearlette. Yeah, they've always been really cool. Uh, and then the sparkly three on the end there, I like those. Yeah, so there's uh, these. Uh, we don't actually know what the maker is on these. Um, there's no maker's mark, nothing at all. That's really cool. Um, it's like little uh, cotton candy clouds, I almost call it. Yeah, They're really cool. So these we're actually going to offer with your choice of uh, AP uh, Anderson Pen nibs. So we've got one of those. We've got this, this pink one here. And this cool rainbow one on the end. It's a lot longer than the rest. <laughs> She's digging through the I like through them. The They're pen. cool. She's going out of order. I, it's making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I could do what I want. You invited me on this podcast. I didn't invite you. Oh. Yeah, so there's no nib in it because you can choose your nib. But yeah. Yeah, um, that's cool. Interesting. I, no idea who the maker is. They didn't They didn't mark it. So, But uh, it seems like a pretty nice, nicely made pen. This yeah. one's actually kind of almost desk pen size. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? Of course, your M600 pink, pink white. Very nice. Uh, of course, solid gold nib, extra fine, of course. Um, and then last but not least, uh, among others, uh, this guy, the Faber-Castell Loom in the violet. And this pen has been discontinued so long ago, I can't even remember. But with such a cool line of pens, uh, great steel nibs, extra fine, of course. Um, but uh, if you've ever wanted one of these guys, and these were great colors. They came in great colors. They discontinued them, and then they went to all these dark muted colors. But uh, so we got that favorite Castell. Got some vintage pens, and then I'll shut up. Uh, these are going to be up soon. Uh, just a selection here. Um, I'm running through the last few of this dual fold consignment that we have. Uh, we've got we're up to the black and pearls now. So this is a dual fold senior in black and pearl. And again, these like uh, all the rest, these, a lot of these are, are very much user grade. Uh, they may have some kind of condition issue, but look at that nib. It's huge, uh, beautiful, you know, some discoloration, but these are such a good size, all freshly restored. Um, I've got a lovely, I got a couple of seniors. I've got a number of juniors and this one has actually pretty, pretty, really great color to it. Um, if you've ever wanted a, a decent, uh, colored black and pearl because so often they're they're very ambered um, so we've got a couple of those um, and uh, look out for those coming to an AP store near you soon uh, we also have a special mailer going out tomorrow oh yeah yeah that's all the things that are uh, leaving us this? soon yes going going gone these are things that we won't be con continuing to carry anymore maybe they're discontinued yep uh, I think all of them are things that are getting discontinued, but they're good prices as they're going out the door. So get them before they're gone because you won't be able to get them here anymore. And some of them, there are only like less than there's, two or three. Oh, there's less. some, a some lot that are just one. Just one. Yeah. yeah. So. Just singular for each. All right. Do you know about this next one? I do. I do. I was just I, looking at this this morning. I suggested playing a little bit of music for this, uh, but Justin didn't seem to think that we'd, we'd get in trouble with, with YouTube if we played Edgar Winters. So, um. Maybe some non-copyright dark and spooky with the non-copyright thunder sounds coming. Do, do, do you know what I'm talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know that, that <laughs> particular song, no. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you go ahead. Go ahead. The, it's the Retro 51 Frankenstein. <laughs> the latest tornado popper stitches together events from Frankenstein and the creature's lives, the creation and creator, the pursuit of love turned rage, and the creature retreating from humanity that rejected him. It's a neon glow-in-the-dark pen with yellow-green lacquer and yellow-green glow-in-the-dark effect. It's really cool. Um, very graphic. Uh, it's two-tone gloss, black printing over the matte yellow-green barrel, stealth black accents, a rollerball refill, 
and the Frankenstein hand on the top of the disc. It's really cool. I think it's a, a fun little. So do you think it's cool? I think it's think cool. It's I think cool it's time? neat. It's a fun graphic touch, especially for a spooky season. And it's a limited edition. There's only uh, 1,031 roller balls, 1031 for Halloween, with each one packaged in a matching graphic tube. So if you're watching this now, chances are they're probably already gone. So I hope you got one. So we are very limited. Uh, limited in what we actually got less than, as usual, they allocate. We got less than what we ordered. Uh, and Edgar Winters, by the way, did a song called Frankenstein. Okay. If you're not familiar with it, check okay. it out. Good it's, luck. It's super cool. What kind of rocks do ghosts collect? Tombstones. Just launching today, the Esterbrook SD Raven. Now, this is probably... Um, I'm going to say this is probably the coolest pen Esterbrook has come out with uh, since the modern launch. Um, this is uh, from Edgar Allan Poe to Norse mythology. Depictions of ravens have influenced our storytelling for a long time. Uh, this has all the subtle, mysterious charm of the intelligent and curious uh, Corvid, a matte black body, and matching nib and trim. So, pretty cool. Um, which is a definitely a departure from the regular SD colorways. Um, and they have a new version, which you have in your hand right I there, uh, which they call a push piston uh, filling mechanism. And you see it has, you take this off, unscrew the end here. We've got a blind cap. And of course you can see there's an ink window there and you have this, Pushing. Now, this, this works very similar to uh, the Pilot Con 70 converter. It actually looks a lot like a vacuumatic filling mechanism, um, but there's actually a breather tube that comes in through the back of the nib, uh, and then you push this, and it fills up the pen. So, uh, super cool. This is um, an upgraded version only for an additional 50 bucks, which is a, a kind of a no-brainer. Um, standard nibs on these, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, uh, and I believe 1.1, 1 .1. uh, no specialty nibs, no journaler, no needle point, no uh, techo, none of that stuff, just because of the, the coating process on the nibs. Grinding those would kind of take off that black coating. Uh, these are limited production right now. Uh, we actually, we were allocated a certain number, uh, very, very small quantities. It will be a regular item. There will be more coming in, I believe, in December, I think, is the, the date we were told. So if you want it, uh, get it now. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a little bit of a wait until they get some more in. So pretty cool. What do you think? I think they're That's pretty neat. I like the matte black. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah that is cool. And the shiny clip, uh, and how it's engraved mm -hmm. but not filled in yeah. on, the, on the cap is just pretty cool. Especially like for Esther Brooks since the, normally they're so colorful and bright, like the honeycomb and everything. Having it yeah. be this very deep, dark matte black is really interesting. And it's very different seeing it in person because the pictures made it look almost like a navy blue. But it's definitely a true oh, matte yeah. black. It's, it's black, yeah. And it's uh, actually what it is is they, they sandblasted oh. the material to get okay. it this, this matte finish. So it's really, really kind of cool. And it, it seems lighter than... Yeah. It yeah. seems lighter than the other ones. It feels good in the hand. Yeah. But this this is this is pretty this is a great idea. And for an extra fifty bucks, and there are very few of these available, uh, that is pretty cool. That I is love a little ink pretty, window. Pretty cool. Yeah. Why do witches wear name tags? To tell which witch is which. We had a contest last week? We did. It's Inktober, so it's time to count how many bottles of ink do you have. We had some people with a lot of ink you, bottles. How many bottles of ink do you have? I don't have any bottles, actually. You don't have any bottles? No, I have a lot of samples. I probably have you're, 100 you're my, samples. You're my daughter? You don't have any bottles of I ink? I have 100 samples or so. It's a lot. Where are you getting all these samples? From here? <laughs> do I? <laughs> does the cop troller know about that? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Chad Herring says, total ink currently stands at 134. Thankful for Fountain Pen Companion Holy for helping cow. me keep track. Oh, it gets higher from there. I have way too many, and yet I still got a new bottle just this week. If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. I wonder if those are all... See, and I didn't count. And I told Justin, I said, someone needs to call me on like Monday and remind <laughs> me to do the question of the week. But I I'm going to guess my number is less than, t t less than 20 by far. Um, and probably some of those are multiples. Like I probably have four bottles of Mont Blanc Bordeaux. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Uh, so, Kathy Cullen Stern says, I mostly have ink samples, 40, but I do have 14 bottles. That Twisby Kai is gorgeous. Going for the restock. It is. I That's love it. Pretty. So. John Park says, nice show. I currently have an even dozen bottles of ink. Probably too many, perhaps not enough. Last one was fabulous. Las Vegas, I picked up at your pen party. Well, oh, thanks for coming. Okay. Glad you got it here. Uh, hey, it's CT. CT, all right. Uh, Inktober, I have an Excel spreadsheet to keep track of my ink bottles, ink samples, and cartridges. Uh, that's one we hadn't talked about. Uh, I currently have 189 bottles of ink. Total goes up fast when you get an ink vent calendar. Yes, Very it true. does. It certainly does. 132 samples and 23 cartridges. Uh, what can I say? There are so many beautiful inks to try. 189 bottles of ink. But yeah, you know, when you get the, the, um, the, the ink vent, I mean, you got, you got 30 right there. Yeah. Marilyn Gardner says, ooh, do I love these counting games. Fortunately, I have my ink collection logged in a database, so this one was easy. Here's the big number. I have 336 bottles wow. of ink. I cut myself off from acquiring more some time ago, but somehow came home from the recent Pelican Hub with five new bottles. Oddly, my bottled ink collection roughly matches my blank notebook collection in number. I, I, I would just, if I had that many bottles of ink, I wouldn't remember what I have. Oh, I don't no, know, that, I don't know that's why she has a database. Yeah, but do you have it on your? You must. You must have it on a phone or like something. Like an Excel spreadsheet or something. But, but, but if you go to, well, I guess there's not that many pen stores. Oh, don't so. worry, it gets gets higher. Russell Bickford, he's got to be our winner. Four hundred and twelve bottles, one hundred and sixty three samples, few that are duplicates of what I have in bottles, and fifty seven. Wow, fifty seven brands. I keep track of my inks on the Fountain Pen Companion program. Four hundred and twelve bottles. Mm -hmm. what's, what's your favorite, Russell? Oh, yeah, we got to know if you got that many. Know. You got to have one, right? At least narrow it down to three. I think that's At fair. least narrow it down to 300. 300. Uh, Heidi Ratz says, 99 bottles of ink, and yes, that number amuses me to no end. I would have to get another one. If I was counting and I only had 99, I'd have to get another. It's an excuse. I would have to. Have to. Or two more to get it over 100. That is funny. Dexter Yang, oh, my, do I have to count? I have around 80 bottles of ink. 10 milliliters or larger. We, yeah, we should we should qualify that. What considers to be a bottle? I mean, at some point, if it's... Yeah. I mean, I guess... I mean, how much different is 10 milliliters versus a 3 milliliter sample, mm, you know? Well, three and a half times. Well, three and a third times. Yes, but... <laughs> and, and around 20, 20 little bottles, 5 and 10. So, yeah, if you have a 5 milliliter bottle, that's, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah that's like an ink sample bottle. Not quite two samples. 80 bottles, 10 or larger, though. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good number. Yeah. Uh, Rich Johnson says, great show. Eric knows exactly how many bottles I have. Confident I don't have to tell you. You already know what I'm going to answer. Have a great week. Well, I, I'm sure Eric can keep the little secret in his heart. I don't know what that is. We did have a winner, though, as we do always. And Margaret, congratulations. Uh, always so lovely to listen to you both. Amazing to hear about some of those vintage acquisitions. How very cool. I just did a count, something I should never do when it comes to pens, notebooks, or ink, and reached... 144, also a very good number. Have a wonderful week. So congratulations, uh, Anne Margaret. Uh, write to eric at andersonpens.com and he will take care of getting that credit uh, on your AP account. We have a new question this week. We do. What is an ink you love but rarely use, like maybe a special occasion use? Hmm. Do you have one? I really like yellow inks, but I don't use do them. Like yellow inks? Some of them. Are you my daughter? That's Some. such a weird color. Sometimes that's why it's a special. It's a rare, rare use. What, what would you use yellow ink for? I do, art ink, stuff, maybe. Art stuff, maybe. Ink, well, because it's too light to, <laughs> to write with. minds want to know. It's too light to write with half the time. But some of them are really nice. Some of the more deeper, like saffron yellows, are saffron nice. yellow. Yeah, I suppose I can see that. Yeah. I can see that maybe. Um, let us know if you have ink you rarely use in the comments. Uh, one commenter will be chosen at random to win a twenty dollars credit on his or her Anderson Pens account. Coming soon, the Diamine Ink Vent calendar. How how interesting that somebody else mentioned their own yes. ink vent. It has an October 20th launch, so coming very soon, just over a week. There are 25 days, one door each day reveals a 12 milliliter bottle that's never before seen. And the final day reveals a 30 milliliter bottle to finish the surprise. All 25 inks are new colors and formula. This includes shimmers, sense, sense and sheens, chameleon, chameleon, chameleon and sheen, and new cool standard formula inks. I don't know what the chameleons chameleon. are. Chameleon. I'm really interested that's, in that. That must be new. That must that's be. That's gonna be new. So this year is the green edition. Yes. I actually just uh, got an email yesterday about these. 
uh, that they are getting ready to ship them, so we should be getting them soon. Uh, I actually had to because they actually come in boxes of uh, 13, oddly enough, being Friday the 13th tomorrow. Um, they come in boxes of 13, so I had to up my order to equal an mm. even even number of 13. So uh, limited. Uh, we will have them very soon. And uh, yeah, I mean, another 25 colors. Are you going to get one? Maybe. Maybe. My you first get, bottles. You your first bottles. You're going to get, get 25. <laughs> um, yeah, so it should be fun. A chameleon sounds interesting. So, but uh, that is coming soon. Do we have anything else we want to talk about? Anything else you want to mention? I don't have anything else I want to mention. So thanks for joining us. <laughs> Unless you've got a suggestion. No, I don't have a suggestion. <laughs> Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Like this video and subscribe to our channel.